first morning of our very very short project on fireworks and bonfire night so this morning we started with some books on bonfire nights we had this one um I should, if we if you get books out try and have a look at them i mean i order mine try and have a look at them before you take them out because some books aren't very good this one wasn't the best one to use we also i printed this off twinkle we became twinkle members um i didn't have time to make one myself i had forgotten about this um they are really good for last minute things and whatnot and we also had a load of information on like guy Fawkes, so we read this this morning as well so that rosie knows who guy Fawkes is um we also, we also read Sally Malley's uh, book on fireworks and then the sheets I have for her today so far are this pen work sheet that she's got a, she's sort of done it, she just keeps doing it in white and really pale colours. She has to trace the lines for the rocket, the sparkler, the star, and because we've learnt about Guy Fawkes, she's got a colouring sheet with the colouring Guy Fawkes. How many baby? And over here we have our poem that Rosie's going to learn. And if you check out a chat with Rosie video on uh, fireworks featuring Quasi, um, I'll see if I can link it below. Um, she, they, they go into the fireworks safety in that one and whatnot, because Rosie's enjoying hosting her own videos at the moment. But when she did her first one, she was just all over the place. So I introduced a puppet to try and just steer her or keep her on the right topic or whatever. Um, so yeah, she's memorising this poem. Um, she seems to want to listen to it more off of our little puppet elephant than she does just me saying it. So yeah, what we're probably going to do with this topic is we are probably going to add a few fireworks to our board, maybe do a couple of crafts. Today we're off out to do a pets at home thing. Um, they have a pet the pets thing and I'm in two I was in two minds whether to take her because I bet it's quite distressing for the pets but um we're probably only going to do this once so we're still getting there with the whole veganism thing there's things that you sign up for and then suddenly think actually that probably doesn't quite fit with the lifestyle so um yeah bear with us any vegans watching um then tomorrow we're probably going to have a lazy-ish day. We might even pop just to the park. We'll do a bit more reading, get her to learn some more firework words, understand what onomatopoeia is with Crash Bang and stuff. Saturday she's got ballet and then we're going to Sparks in the Park in the evening. So we probably won't do an awful lot. She'll probably just try and get her to do the sheets and I'll show you the sheets in a minute. We'll probably just try and get her to do these sheets. She's currently having a little bit of TV time. Let's see if I can find these sheets for you now, actually, while I'm thinking about it. So, a couple I printed off Twinkle. So, and I've put all my Halloween -y stuff all together. So, this is our Bonfire Night Senses sheet. So, what she can see, describing words here, describing words smell and touch. A firework safety sheet for Rosie to learn the rules. A senses poem that goes up in ability. So this is off Twinkle as well. Um, so the first one she matches the correct thing with. I can see, I can hear, I can feel. So I can see the twinkling fireworks. I can hear the crashing rocket. I can feel my cosy gloves. And then it goes, it goes up in. Um, I printed all of them off already. But you can have that if you want to take that out, baby. You take it, take it and do it. There's the bee for the bat. Um. So I've left the ones on the top that are currently her ability. We might even not get around to this this year. Um, and then she's got some questions on the Guy Fawkes sheet. But again, she's very little for this, so I still might not do this. And then for those of you people who are lazy, there's also an answer sheet. I just printed the whole thing off. And there's the information that she'll get her answers from for, for, for the next one. Um, she's got a few firework colouring sheets. I want the pumpkin one. But she's not a big colourer. You can take it out, baby. Put the letters back on first, though, please. Yes. And then she's got this um, colour the firework, trace the word, dot to dot rocket. What I've done for her. Most of these are just handmade. They're just really easy to do. Pen work, Catherine wheels. 
and then the, the older the older questions and stuff that go with um everything so yeah those are my resources but we're fitting them into four days so it isn't a lot because we're not doing a long project on this we're just doing i'll turn you around hi lazy day today i can't be bothered to put my contacts in so um with this whole firework thing because we because we're fitting it into thursday friday saturday three days even and then we're going to do a little bit of notebooking on sunday on halloween and i might try and do halloween today actually but um we'll do a notebooking on um sunday about the firework night we're then going to start where i live project um in cardiff so we're gonna we're gonna start that project on sunday so this is probably plenty of sheets to keep her going just for the three days we're on it um i'm not sure you understood how to do that sheet baby does mummy begin with s Ma. what does it begin with Ma. Ma. yeah so what begins with s what picture begins with s so we had a go at making some fireworks out of some pipe cleaners and toilet rolls and I just poked some holes and Rosie helped me thread in some pipe cleaners and I tied them off the other side and there's one and then there's a second one that we tried but we didn't put as many in so you kind of have to look up from the ground to see it. Then this is pets at home. We were really early, so we went to look at the cat's protection part and the lady very kindly gave us a bag of goodies from the front, I think from Halloween night, so Rosie's playing with a cat mask there. I don't think we'll do this again because I didn't like how the lady uh, made the guinea pig make it sound. She distressed it so that we could hear it weep and I just thought, no, you didn't need to do that. You can chuck it under its chin and make it purr. And they like that. So Rosie got to see guinea pigs, a rabbit that looked like a wizard, and some Russian hamsters and she got to feed some fish. Um, they weren't allowed to touch the little ones in case they uh, bit them and because they were quick and could escape so she really enjoyed it though and there, there weren't many there were only four kids there including Rosie. We also so she's poking the cheek because he's got food in his cheek there as well um, we also bought a new friend. They had this lovely little Christmas doggy who was so cute and we thought his name was Buddy and our old dog's name was Buddy. So we bought him and brought him home and took him to the park for a play. Um, tomorrow I'm going to have a rosy led day, I've decided. Um, I will leave worksheets out for her if she wants to do them. I will ask her what she wants to do and give her a couple of options and let her choose. But we're probably going to have daddies on doubles. And we're probably going to have a restful day because we've had a quite a busy week. With Daddy being on doubles and with ballet and sparks in the parks on Saturday, I want her to be nicely rested tomorrow. So, I'll let you know if we do any of the worksheets that I did. Otherwise, it could just be a day of telly on in the background and playing in the garden. So. I know. I love your elephant. It's a brilliant elephant. For this one. On this one, please. Yeah, you can draw on that one as well. Can I show people your elephant? No, don't. Look at that trunk and all. It's a very hairy elephant, isn't it? Yeah. He's beautiful. Mummy loves your drawings at the moment. What's this one? Who's he? It's a potato with hair. <laughs> that one is a potato with hair, is it? And what about this one? This one's a different shape. It looks like a sea lion or something. Which what's he? No, put what's he meant to be? Draw it here. I will draw a drawing in a minute. I'm just I'm just filming your pictures, baby, because they're so beautiful. Mummy's gonna miss when you start drawing things try properly. I love your hairy potato pictures. Try and draw here. Oh okay. What do you want me to draw? A a potato. <laughs> draw a potato. Mummy's just work. Mummy's just been peeling potatoes. Draw a potato. Draw, draw, a, draw a potato watching draw, fireworks. Draw a fireworks. Draw, draw a potato watching fireworks. Yes. Okay. I'll show you when I've finished. Fun. I've been peeling potatoes in the kitchen and stuff ready for dinner later because we're going to go to the bank, to the library to drop our books in again. And then um, we're going to go to the play park for the rest of the morning. And then we're going to come home and this afternoon we're probably just going to chill out because Daddy's on this a long one. This one's a dolphin! Is it a dolphin? It's beautiful. He needs a fin, Babby. Can you give him a fin so we can swim? 
her, sh her shapes are changing. Like they've gone from just big round blobs to actual. It's an elephant. Forms. It could be another elephant. So it could be. A, it's the same. It depends which way you look at it, Babs. Look. Um, we are going to do notebooking at some point today, <laughs> on Halloween, and we are. I've offered her her sheet. She's not interested. So we're just going to free play. Let Rosie lead today. And this is Rosie putting some fireworks onto our autumn board. She's using two glitter glue pens that came with the Mr Maker magazine we bought. So she's got gold and blue fireworks going off in our sky for our board. So Rody, Rosie, Rody? Rosie is doing some drawing before dinner. She seems to really be into drawing at the moment. When the mood hits, she really goes to town on it. So, um... We were out all morning at the play park, running errands, then we came home and we kind of chilled out for the afternoon. Look at this! It's beautiful! What is it? It's a snake. A snake. Oh, is that his tongue going across the middle, is it? That's... Mm. Um, so we watched, we watched a couple of movies. Um, she's done her school workbook, a couple of bits from her school workbook. When I say workbook, I'm basically saying there's ones you can pick up in like Wilco's or s supermarkets that go by the age range of like three to five. So we've got a couple on the go and when she's bored of one, we do a different one. Um, and now she's listening to Oliver while I cook dinner. And then tomorrow, if I remember to take pictures, apparently ballet's not on because the poor lady couldn't find a venue because uh, she can't go in her normal place tomorrow. So. Tomorrow, I don't know what she'll get up with Daddy. I think he might take her out with me in the morning so I can have a little bit of a break because he's got some double shifts coming up and um, we've got Sparks in the Parks as a family in the afternoon. I'll see if I can get some pictures. Rosie went out for the morning with Daddy and then we're trying to keep her quiet so that she's rested for the fireworks. So this is her doing some tablet work. So this is Rosie at the firework night. Um, she went on a couple of rides. She went on the rocket. She went on the cars um the display was a little disappointing for the little ones there weren't any really loud bangs and it was really small so we'll probably keep her until the seven next year but for now this is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you did and for now it is tatar from me and tatar from the rosie bear